This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Anjali Khamet. October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and we end today's show with a look at one deadly form of violence against women, commonly known as honor killings. On Sunday, a man in Jordan confessed to stabbing his 22-year-old daughter to death by a sword 25 times because she was found to be pregnant out of wedlock. It's reported to be at least the 17th such case from Jordan this year. According to the United Nations, 5,000 women around the world are murdered each year in the name of preserving their family, honor, and reputation. Rana Husseini is among the world's leading advocates against these so-called honor killings. In 94, she was a young journalist with the Jordan Times, began uncovering dozens of stories of women killed by their own family members because of what the family thought was immoral behavior on the part of women. Since that, Rana Husseini has continued to investigate and speak out about this form of violence, whether in Jordan or other parts of the world. And she's just out with a book of chronicling some of these stories called Murder in the Name of Honor the true story of one woman's heroic fight against an unbelievable crime. Rana Husseini joins us now in our Firehouse studio. Um, explain what galvanized you and what we should understand about what's happening, well, primarily for you in Jordan. Well, of course, it was a series of murders that I covered when I started reporting for the Jordan Times and then going to courts and discovering that killers were getting away with very lenient sentences. So at that time, no one was really talking about it. But because of the many efforts that were done in Jordan in the late 90s, which I document in the book, uh, we managed to break, as a civil society, we managed to break the taboo forever. They were training for judges, criminal prosecutors, uh, people working in the domestic field on how to detect these crimes, how to deal with the, the victims of domestic violence. Now in Jordan, most people know about this issue. It's no longer taboo. It's being heavily discussed in the press. Uh, there's a lot of awareness. Uh, people, uh, voices rejecting these uh, sort of murders are now increasing more than when I started. So basically things are going to the better. Unfortunately, the number of uh, murders is not decreasing. Uh, I think we have 19 this year. Uh, before I left, they were 18, and now in, with this murder, they are 19. But now, I mean, every time there's a murder, there's a big and heavy debate in the press about it. Sometimes government officials come to talk about it. And this you did not see in the past. So I think all these uh, uh, kind of uh, di dialogues and uh, discussions in the press, uh, governments admitting, even the leadership is talking about it, the civil uh, society, the individuals, I think this is something very important. And uh, it really helped raise awareness. Uh, among this issue in Jordan and elsewhere in the world. And Rana, you talk about honor killings as a global phenomenon. It's not something just in Jordan and as sometimes is reported in the mainstream media in this country, it's not something just in the Muslim world. Can you exactly. expand on this? Yeah, of course. Uh, So-called honor crimes, I'd like to call them because honor crime, uh, it's when you say that you're justifying the murder. So we're trying even to t change the terminology. But uh, there, uh, you know, domestic violence or violence against women is a global phenomenon, as we said. Women get killed all over the world uh, by their abusive partners, by their family members, by their husbands, by their sons, uh, fathers. Um, and there are still reports of murders uh, going on in countries such as Italy, like in Sicily, uh, in South America, uh, Pakistan, Turkey. So it's really not, uh, not uh, restricted to any religion. I have covered cases of Christian women who were killed in Jordan for uh, tarnishing their family's honor. Same in other parts of uh, the Middle East. So really, it has nothing to do with any religion. I think it's mostly a tribal, uh, I'm sorry, it's a traditional uh, practice more than a religious. For example, in, the, in India, the Sikh families killed their daughters. Uh, in Iraq, a woman from a Yazidi faith was stoned to death recently. So really, it has nothing to do with any religion as much as it has to do with people's wrongful uh, cultural and traditional beliefs. And we just have 10 seconds, but when it's called a crime of passion and honor killing, the leniency of the sentence. Of course, I'm against any sentence that justifies any murder. And I think any killer who kills a woman should get a very high sentence, just like treated any other murder. Uh, this is part one of our conversation. Rana Husseini, I want to thank you for being with us. Investigative journalist, activist from Jordan, leading advocate against so-called honor killings. Her book is called Murder in the Name of Honor. And that does it for today's broadcast. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke, Shufo Dokudus, Aaron Mata, Angeli Comet, Steve Martinez, Nicole Salazar, Hani Masood, and Robbie Karen. Oh, and happy birthday, Robbie. Mike DeFilippo, Miguel Nagera, and Peter Curries, our engineers. Thanks also to Becca Staley, Nick Ella, Hugh Grant, Samantha Chambly, Jessel Noor, John Gerberg, John Randolph, Kellen Innocent, Kieran Krug Meadows, Vesta Godars, Rabia Afghani. Our website is democracynow.org. There you can get our transcripts, our video and audio podcast. You can follow us on Twitter, get lots of information linked to our show. I'm Amy Goodman with Anjali Khamet. Thanks so much for joining us.